In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best Windows settings that you can optimize so you can get the best FPS, lower ping, and lower latency in Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 2. Many people have been struggling with bad ping and FPS drops this season, so if you watch till the end, I guarantee you that you will get lower ping, lower latency, and stable FPS. So the first thing you want to do is click Windows I on your keyboard, head on down to System, go on to Notifications, and make sure notifications are turned off. This will stop any notifications coming up through Windows, so if you're playing a game and you don't see it, the notification could come up in the background and slow down your game. So make sure notifications are turned off so you don't get anything popping up in the background. The next thing you want to do is head on back to System, go to Focus, and make sure all of these boxes underneath Session Duration are unticked. Doing this, this allows Focus Assist from being used in your PC, and most people use this for doing schoolwork, so if you use your PC for gaming, make sure all of these boxes are unticked. Then you're going to head back to System, go down to Storage, go to Temporary Files, and then it'll bring up all of the temporary files inside Windows that you don't need. And inside here, you can select all of the files that you don't want, so Downloads, Device Driver Packages, Windows Update, all of these that you don't need, you just select them, and then you click Remove Files. Doing this just deletes all of the temporary files, freeing up space on your drive that could stop with frame stutters and give you more stable frames. So if you're running low on disk space, I would definitely recommend clearing all of the temporary files that you have. After you've done this, you're going to head on back to system, scroll all the way down to about, then click advanced system settings so it brings up the system properties box. On performance here, you're going to click settings. Then onto this box here, you're going to click adjust for best performance, then click back on custom and we're only going to be enabling animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you've done that, click apply and those three will have applied and all the others will be down and we won't be using any of those. The animate windows when minimizing and maximizing just makes it look a little bit nicer when you're opening tabs. It doesn't really affect performance. Show thumbnails instead of icons is when if you clip something, you'll actually see the thumbnail of the clip instead of just seeing the name. So it's quite easy to locate the clip you want and smooth edges of screen fonts just makes the text inside windows look a little bit nicer. Once you've done that, click OK, OK again, and we're going to be heading down on the left of the settings here to gaming. Once we're on here, we're going to click game mode and make sure game mode is turned on. After this, you can head on down to graphics and it will bring up a list of apps where you can choose the performance of your game. So if you're playing Fortnite, you're going to add Fortnite to this list, click the drop down, go into GPU preference and select high performance. And after you've done this, head on down to Windows Update and make sure there's no updates available. And if there is, install them. As you can see here, I've just installed an update. So my PC is fully up to date and I won't be getting any stutters in game because there's no Windows updates trying to update while I'm playing. Now we can close off the settings and we're going to be doing some mouse optimizations to lower our in-game delay. So the first thing you want to do is click the search icon and search for mouse. Click mouse settings, go down to additional mouse settings, go to pointer options and make sure enhanced pointer precision is unticked. Doing this disables the first step of mouse acceleration and you don't want this as it gives much higher input delay in game as when you're moving your mouse left and right it gradually speeds up messing up your aim and sensitivity so make sure enhanced point of precision is turned off. Once you've done that click apply and ok. Then we're going to be clicking the search icon again and searching for the control panel. Heading over to ease of access, clicking on ease of access center, go to make the mouse easier to use, set up mouse keys and drag the acceleration bar all the way down to slow. This fully disables mouse acceleration inside Windows, so you have no chance of getting that speeding up when you're moving left and right, giving you the lowest input delay in game. Once you've done that, click apply, and you can close off the control panel, and mouse acceleration will be fully disabled inside Windows. Now we're gonna add two commands inside the PowerShell that are gonna add two registry keys inside the registry editor that are gonna improve your game performance by so much. I'll leave these in the description, so there's a text file here, I'm just going to leave these two commands in the description. You're just going to copy these, click the search icon, search PowerShell, run it as an administrator, paste the command, click enter, and it'll say the operation completed successfully. You're going to do this for both of them. 
and it'll say the operation completed successfully for both of them and those two registry keys have been added inside the registry editor and your performance after this is going to be so much better. Now we're going to be going through some of the ethernet settings to give us lower ping in game. So the first thing you want to do is click the search icon and head on over to the control panel, click on network and internet, go to network and sharing center, click on ethernet, properties, click on internet protocol version 4, configure, click yes and it will bring up the internet properties inside windows. And on here the first thing you want to disable is energy efficient ethernet. So it should say either enabled or disabled or on or off. Make sure it's turned off or it's disabled. Head on down to flow control, make sure this is disabled. Go to interrupt moderation, make sure this is enabled. Go to interrupt moderation rate. I would recommend setting this to high or medium. It might be on low or even off. So make sure this is on high or medium. Then you're going to go to IPv4 checksum offload and make sure this is disabled. Large send offload v2 for IPv4 and 6. Make sure these are both disabled. Scroll down until you find speed and duplex and set this to the highest option. So either 1 gigabyte or 2.5 gigabytes. Then go down to TCP checksum offload for IPv4 and 6 and make sure these are both disabled. And UDP offload for IPv4 and 6 are also both disabled. Then scroll down until you see wake from SOIX on magic packet and all of these wake on link settings and magic packet settings and make sure all of these four options are disabled. After you've done all that, head on over to power management and make sure both of these boxes are unticked. Once you've done that, you can click OK and close off the control panel and the ethernet settings. That is going to be it for this video guys. Let me know down in the comments how much it actually helped you following all these settings. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.